Good evening. Um, my name is Miss Harder, and I wanted to thank you all for coming out to support Heritage Drama Club. While we are called a club, we feel more like a family. Mrs. Fawcett and I have been overjoyed to work with these talented, hardworking, and energetic students. We do have a favor to ask. Our sound system is pretty old. So old, in fact, that when we found the instruction manual, it was on a floppy disk. So if you could do us a favor and turn off all cell phones, it's the only way we can get our microphones to work properly. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoy this production of High School Musical on stage. Dudes, Happy New Year. Oh yes, my brothers. It'll be a happy Wildcat New Year. Because this Friday, we play the league championship game with you, Mr. Troy Bolton, leading us to infinity and beyond. Hallelujah. The Ice Princess just got back from the North Pole. Hi. I mean, hi, Sharpay. How are you? Hi, Troy. Are you ready for the big game? Hi, Troy. Hi, Sharpay. Drag. Did you at least do something fun over your winter break? Well, my mom took me on a ski trip, but all I did was read. Excellent! Another bookworm! With all those cute boys in the slopes, why do you think Prada makes all that fabulous Opry ski wear? Loser! Well, actually, I did meet a boy. See? So make with the news flash, sister. I'm all ears. It was the best trip. The slopes were perfect, and I met the hottest little snow bunny ever. It was like a dream. How'd you meet her? Snowboarding? Snowboarding. Singing. He was pretty good, too. Man, she was so hot, the slopes turned to slush. Yeah, so did Troy. Singing? They threw a contest for the kids. It was kind of romantic, you know? Did you say karaoke? Karaoke! I'm Troy. I can't sing. Gabriella, me either. They're all looking at us. I will if you will. Living in my own world, didn't understand that anything can happen when you take a chance. Something has changed, never felt this way. I know it's for real, this could be the start of something new. If it 
I made a New Year's resolution to call her and ask her out on a date. You, you know, know what my New Year's resolution is? is? Tell it! I'm gonna work my job. I'm job. gonna work the equation. I'm gonna win the game. I'm gonna win the prize. Be the star just like always. Be the star the sidekick. Yo, 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 Wildcats, listen up for your very first morning announcements of the brand new year. This is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High, with the Homeroom 411 on what's going down. And coming up this week, the Science Decathlon finals are on Friday. See Taylor, learning curve McKessie for more skinny on the hooey. During free period, the Science Club will be meeting in room 213, then switch midway with AB Club in room 312 for the next two and a half sessions. They reverse and alternate their schedules for the second half of the winter quarter. The Skydiving Club will be meeting on the roof deck at 3 p.m., and the First Aid Club will be waiting for them down the parking lot below. All for now, peeps.
That's not even a possibility, Miss Darbus. Your Honor. Because we have basketball practice after school. That could be hard for Chad since he probably can't count that high. Hey, look at Cassie. 35 minutes. But I've never had detention in my life. Well, happy new year. Saying my first rodeo, kitties. Now, shall the carnage continue? Uh, saved by the bell. You may collect your phones after detention. Have a wonderful day. Attention, custodial staff. A nauseous freshman just shared his pancakes all over the third floor corridor. We are talking major spewage, folks, so watch out for... Sorry, peeps, this is just in. Please remember to sign up for the school musical, Juliet and Romeo, by Red High composer babe Kelsey Nielsen. Until later, this is Jack Scott, the Velvet Fog of East High. Believe it. Me? Either. But how? My family just moved here to Albuquerque. I can't believe you live here too. I tried looking for a We had to leave first thing. Why are you whispering? Oh, well, I told my friends I went snowboarding, but I didn't tell them about the singing thing. Too much for them to handle? It was cool, but my friends, that's not what I do. Pretty crazy, huh? Meeting up again like this? I was gonna call you, like, a bunch of times. And? And, well, you know, I mean... You chickened out. Kinda. Cool. <laughs> now that you've met Darbus the Deranged, I bet you can't wait to sign up for the show. I won't be signing up for anything anytime soon. But if you signed up, I'd consider coming to the show. <laughs> That's completely impossible. I wouldn't think impossible is even in your vocabulary, Troy. So nice of you to show our new student around. Troy is such a sweetheart, isn't he? He's the star of the basketball team, just like I'm the star of the drama club. We're perfect for each other, don't you think? Are we having lunch together, Troy? Oh, look, the sign-ups for the musical. Oh, were you going to sign up too? I'm so sure we could find something for you. The ugly old nurse is lots of fun. No, no. I was just looking at the bulletin boards. Lots going on at this school. Wow. Nice penmanship. I missed you during vacation, Troy. So what'd you do, hmm? Practice basketball, snowboarding, more basketball. Gotta go practice and all. You're so dedicated, just like me. I hope you'll come watch me in the musical. Promise? Maybe it's my hair. Hey Wildcats, it's request time again. And this one goes out from Principal Dr. Wienhofer to the person who took the air out of his tires. <laughs> Sorry peeps, seems we have another request that goes something like this. Troy Bolton, get your butt to basketball practice on the double or you are grounded for a week. Later, peeps. And remember, the chain is only as strong as its weakest link. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. I guess you know that one. Okay, men, give me ten minutes of weed drill. And let me see some hustle. Sorry, I'm late, coach. Hey, you know that school musical thing? Pretty cool that Darvis is giving extra credit just for auditioning. Do you think LeBron James and Shaquille O'Neal ever auditioned for their school musical? But, like, the extra credit's good for college and all. You know what's better? A big fat basketball scholarship. Ow! 
You're the team captain, Bolton. Get your head in the game. Man, that's tough. All right, let's kick it in. Run the shuffle drill. Coach said to fake right and break left. Watch for the pick, give a nine defense. Got to run the give and go, take the ball to the hole. And don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Uh, just get your head in the game. Uh, just get your head in the game. And don't be afraid to shoot the outside, Jay. Uh, just get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. Come on, get your, get your head in the game. You gotta get your, get your head in the game. Let's make sure that we get the rebound. Cause when we get it, then the crowd will go wild. Sank a chance, gotta grab it and go. Maybe this time we'll hit the right note. I've got to see her. Wait a minute, now the time or place. Wait a minute, get my head in the game. Wait a minute, get my head in the game. Wait a minute, wait a minute, gotta get my, get my head in the game. I gotta get my. Give my head the game. Come on, give my, give my head the game. I gotta get my, get my head the game. Why am I feeling so wrong? Ask yourself, is your head the game? My head's in the game, but my heart's in the song. What's it gonna be? She makes it. Troy Bolton? Not really. He was just showing me around. Troy doesn't usually interact with new students. Why is that? It's pretty much basketball 24-7 with him. Plus, he is such a bully, always picking on the smaller kids. That's nice. He hates math and chemistry. Don't get him started on chemistry. I don't think he's opened a book since Sally, Dick, and Jane. Says he didn't get it. Typical jock, right? Cool. He's a meat eater with a flatulence problem. Ask anybody. <laughs> Ms. Tenney? Oh, I'm sorry. I just believe it's supposed to be 10 to the negative 18th power. That's all. 10 to the negative 18th power? That's quite impossible. I stand corrected. I am very impressed. Welcome aboard, Ms. Martha. Did you know Troy spent a year in Juvenile Hall? Something to do with cats and lawnmowers. Be gone. You have no power here. Whatever. I am impressed. You're a genius. Please. It was just an equation. Ryan, it's me. I thought Ms. Darvis took your phone away. What? We always carry a spare, in case our agent calls. 
Look, our science decathlon team has a big regional match on Friday. We've never won it before, but with you on our side, we might stand a chance. Thanks, but I'll have to pass for now. I'm just trying to get acclimated to the new school and all. Well, promise me you'll think about it. Promise. So guess who just saw Troy Bolton looking at our audition list? Again? He was hanging around with that Montez hag and they were both looking at the list this morning. There's something freaky about her. Did you Google her like I asked? Yeah, it's like she has an extra brain or something. So why is she interested in our musical? She's interested in Troy, barf boy. Look, I need you to plant those printouts in Taylor's locker ASAP. No problem, boss. But why am I doing that again? There's no harm in making certain that Gabriella is welcome in the school activities that are appropriate for her. You know, the ones that keep her far away from Troy Bolton! <laughs> well, Wildcats, it's time to kiss today goodbye and point me towards detention. So, all of you evildoers better get your butts to the theater immediately or face the wrath of Darvis and the Merciless. This is Jack, Jack Scott, Scott, signing off. Yes, my brave little detention menagerie. We thespians often use animals to build the characters we play. Be the bear, be the ostrich, be the monkey. You're all doing brilliantly. Chum, chum, chum now. Explore. Totally. Ryan. It's okay. Ostriches are cool, I guess. For Sharpay, maybe. But what about you? Me. Yes. Unless you want to live the rest of your life in the shadow of your sister's ostrich. <coughs> the answer is yes! Huh? I'm so glad you changed your mind about the science decathlon. With credentials like these, we'll win that title for sure. Where did you get these from? Didn't you slip them in my locker? Of course not. Well, we'd love to have you on our team. We meet almost every day after school. Please? I don't know. I just want to get caught up in the curriculum here before I think about joining any clubs. But what a perfect way to get caught up, meeting with the smartest kids in school. What a generous offer, Taylor. Look, we've never won it before. You could be our answered prayer. Well, OK. I guess I can do it. Yay! Okay, so, quid pro quo, what do you know about Troy Bolton? Troy? I wouldn't consider myself an expert on that particular subspecies. Unless you speak cheerleaders, and isn't Troy Bond just a honey super bomb? I guess I don't speak cheerleader. Which is why we live in an alternate universe to Troy the basketball boy. Have you tried to get to know him? He has his clique and I have mine. Watch in the cafeteria when you eat lunch with us. You'll see. I mean, you don't think being in the musical could be fun? Like, even a little? You're a hoops dude, not a musical singer person. I wasn't talking about me, no way. Good, because you can't expect the rest of us to be focused on the game when you're off singing some more in leotards. Whoa, no one said anything about leotards. Maybe not yet, my friend, but just wait. Sound to go with it. Once passed, you can hit any part of the body. The only limit 
Troy are my two star players. You can't have them acting like idiots when they should be at practice. They weren't acting like idiots, they were acting like actors. If Chad and Troy were <coughs> actors instead of athletes, would you seek professional treatment? I think not. Darvis, we are a day away from the biggest game of the year. And we are in the midst of our winter musical. This school is about more than sweaty young men in baggy shorts slinging balls for buckets. Baskets. The West High Knights have beaten us out of the playoffs for three years. Yes, and despite your constant track record of defeat, the school board still seems to allocate to spend ten times the amount of money for the athletics as it does for the arts program. Win, lose, it doesn't matter. I'm trying to teach these kids about a goal, about teamwork, something they can use as adults. Which is precisely what I am trying to instill in them. How? By making them scream at the top of their lungs? Filthy! Crackpot! <laughs> Hey peeps, welcome back to another train wreck of a school day. The auditions for Juliet and Romeo will start at 3 p.m. sharp, so ye verily forsooth dudes better wherever at the under vocal cords. This is Jack Scott, over and out in five, four, three, two, and one. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see You were always there beside me It's hard to believe that I couldn't see You were, you were always there beside me But you were always there beside me. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. But you were always there beside me. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. You were always there beside me.
Hey, thanks. But we had a rehearsal pianist do an arrangement. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see You were always there beside me Thought I was alone with no one to hold But you were always there beside me This feeling's like no other I want you to know I've never had someone that knows me like you do The way you do I've never had someone as good for me as you, no one like you. So lonely before I finally found what I've been looking for. What's with you and those stupid jazz squares? Too hard? I can dumb it down for you again. So good to be seen, so good to be heard. Don't, Don't have, have to say a word. For so long I was lost. So good to be found. I'm loving having you around. This feeling's like no other. I want you to know. I've never had someone that knows me like you do. The way you do. I've never had someone as good for me as you. No one like you. So lonely before. I finally found what I've been looking for. Do 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 do. Oh 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 oh. Do 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 do. Oh 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 oh. You. No you. No us. Don't be discouraged. The drama club doesn't just need performers. It needs fans to buy tickets. <laughs> Sorry, new classes. But I was thinking, if you got that part with that particular song, you could... If we got the part? <laughs> oh, Kelsey. Kelsey, darling. I've been in 17 school productions. And let's see, how many shows have you written? This would be my first. Which tells us that? Uh, I should write you more solos? It tells us you do not offer direction, suggestion, or commentary. You should be thankful that Ryan and I are here to lift your music out of its current obscurity. Are we clear? Yes, ma'am. I mean, sure, pay. Nice talking to you. Love the glasses. Hey, you decided to sign up. <laughs> no way. I just came to give you, like, moral support. You are auditioning, right? No. Your friends don't know you're here, do they? Right. You're not scared, are you? Hey, I'm used to all the attention, remember? You're the one that's afraid, not me. I'm not afraid. R2. Am not. R2. Am not. R2. Am not. Oh, yeah, prove it. Get up there and show them what you can do. Don't be afraid. I'll be right here. <laughs> Miss Darbus, I'd like to audition. I'm sorry, dear. But timing means everything in theater. But I... Uh, Miss Darbus, I'll sing with her. Troy Bolton, where's your sports posse or whatever it's called? Team, but I'm here alone. Actually, I'm here to sing with her. I'm sorry, but I treat my shows just as seriously as your dad treats his basketball practices. I called for Julia and Romeo, and you didn't show up. I'm sorry, but we're out of time. You're out of luck, Jeff. Troy. Sorry. Um. 
You wrote that song Ryan and Sharpay just sang? Uh huh. And the entire show? Uh huh. How long did it take you? About two years. I wake up at five every morning before school, and I'm still working on the finale. Wow, that's amazing. You're really dedicated. So, why are you afraid of Sharpay? It's your show. It is? Hello. Isn't the playmaker, or the author of a musical, like the playmaker in basketball? The playmaker? The person who makes everyone else look good? Without you, there is no show. You're the playmaker, Kelsey. I am? Do you want to hear what that song's supposed to sound like? really nice. It starts out slow. You first. It's hard to believe that I couldn't see. You were always there beside me.
cheap joke showing Gabrielle that even audition. And then everyone asked our permission to join the drama club. I mean, come on. Someone needs to teach that new girl the rules. Right. Um, Bye. 